So energy value is important. Other aspects of the form, especially when we get to breathing, rhythm and flow, are the breathing concepts or breathing aspects. And I look at the forms in three, three stages. I look at the silicon form as an energy form for replenishing energy. It teaches us to circulate uh, our blood, uh, air flow correctly. And it's kind of if you're tired or run down, silicon form should sort of replenish that. The Chumkil form is kind of more like a running form where I could do Silent Help all day long and I, I, I wouldn't feel fatigued. Like walking would not fatigue you that much. But when you're running, you probably only run for a middle to, middle to long distance before you become fatigued. So the Chumkil is kind of that breathing concept. And then the Bill G form is more like sprinting. It's explosive. You know, you do Bill G correctly, that's it. It's like you've, been, you've done a 200 meter sprint. Your lungs are really working, so there are different breathing aspects for each form. So what I'd like to do is start with the ceiling tail form and just look at the correct order of things. Then we'll go through it again and we'll look at correctness of technique. And as we're going through, uh, we'll talk about where the breathing aspects are, the correct breathing system that you should be using in it. And that will affect rhythm and flow. Because once that's right, then the energy value of the form combined with the dynamics and the breathing create what I call the energy value. Okay, so we'll start. Seal of tail form, hands to the side, and again, correctness of technique, we'll get to in a moment, but I always pack the hands tight, stand in a military stance. Arms up to shoulder level, pack and pull back. Bend the knees, left forward, right back, tilt the hips at that point. Left over right, left fist, strike. Rotate and back. Right fist, strike, rotate and back. Hands out, push through, 